Okay, so it's gonna rain here shortly, so we'll make this quick. There's a guy on YouTube, Steve Robb, and um, I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. But he does a lot of YouTube videos, and he does a lot of um, YouTube videos about other people's channels, and he watches a lot. But he was watching a YouTube video and noticed that exhaust manifold bolt head was missing on somebody's truck. And like I got a 04 with a 5.3 here. And we get looking on this side. And I don't know if you'll be able to see. But even the back one back there. Which, oh, it's right back here. Okay, let's try this again. My lights on it right there. See, I got a bolt in the back. And I got all the, all six bolts on this side, which you can't really see much. Let's go to the other side. Okay, now over here you can kind of see a little better. And right there I'm shining one of the bolt heads. There's another one. And let me see if you can see these. Oh, there's one here, one here. Um... The one in the front's here, but I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Dipstick tubes are already in the way. This is harder than it looks, but if you notice right back here, the back one's missing. My finger's right on it. So, on my 2004, with 70 some thousand miles on it, I have one missing. Now that's on a 534860. It's kind of a common thing. And, you know, maybe it's because it's in a um, metal exhaust manifold and aluminum head and the size of the bolt and all. Maybe that's the differences is what pops them. I'm not 100% sure on what does them, but I just know if you look at a lot of these trucks you're gonna have a broken bolt it's common some leak and you hear it and some people don't even know it okay so this one I believe is a 2000 um, I think that's what this is okay now if we look on the driver's side there's a bolt right there see it there's one under there there's two right there. There's one right there. But, you get to the back, and you notice there's no bolt. You can kind of see the holes directly under my flashlight. So, we're missing one. Let's look on this side. And we have one there. We have it there. We have two together, we have one there, and this is the same as my truck. I don't know if you will see, oh, here's a better angle. If you look, right there. See right behind that metal tin, you'll see the, There's a metal tin and there's that plug right there in the head. And if you look at the edge of the exhaust manifold, there's a bolt sticking. There's a bolt sticking out. Yeah, that's the problem right there. There is no bolt sticking out. You can kind of see the bolt stud in there, but the head's missing on it. So we got my 04 that has one missing. We have a 2000 or 2001. Good luck reading that, baby. But anyway, still it's a 5.3. It's got a bolt missing. And if you look over here at the neighbors, there just happens to be a 2015 Chevy truck. He's from Texas. But um, we'll go look and see. Surely all the bolts are still on that one, huh? I don't know how many miles he's got on it. I don't know if you guys can see the hood. And through the hailstorm.
Okay, so I found one that does not have a broken bolt, but this is a 2015 and you probably can't see them all, but all the bolts are still in this one. How many miles? Uh, like 6,800. About 6,800 miles and it's still got all the bolts in it, so I guess there are a couple that still have all the bolts in them. But you can see down there, there's a bolt. It's really hard to tell on the camera, but trust me, all the bolts are in this one. Okay, so we got a 2007, and this has got the 6.2 in it, which is a little different, but the same. But if you notice, let's see what we get back here. Oh, in the back. You notice that bolt back there is missing. <laughs> That's the only one I've seen on this one. So that just goes to show even the 6.2s have that same broke off bolt. This is such a common problem on these trucks. There's a yeah, my way you hose. There's a bolt holes in the front of the head here somewhere. Right here, it is up here. And um, they make a bracket that bolts into the side of the head that comes around. And the same bracket fits this corner and that front corner. They make one for here and here. And I think they make, I think they make three different versions of the bracket. But if you don't want to pull the manifold off, take the stud out of the head and replace the bolts and do it correctly, um, they make a bracket that bolts to the head like and comes around and it puts tension to keep them so you know you can kind of look into that bracket if you're really wanting to but don't go nowhere yet because there's more to look at under the hood of your Chevy truck if you have one one thing is and I see I'm starting to get it transmission lines Start leaking where they're cramped. This top's good, the bottom starting to seep. If you can see that very good or not. So that's an issue. Another thing. Have you ever seen a Chevy truck pull up and or have your own and you kind of smell antifreeze, but you really don't know where it's coming from? Do you look familiar? Water pump gaskets. And a lot of times, if you look straight down in, you can see this one, I put new gaskets on mine. Look straight down in below there, a lot of times you'll see this. For some reason, the passenger side gasket seems to leak a lot on these, the water pump gaskets. So I put a gasket. I use the same water pump. Another thing to look for is it's no ring here that leaks. Let's look to this thermostat. This is for the white um, one we looked at out back there. But these have a tendency of that O ring. I find a lot of them wanting to leak. So we're just going to put this on the white one. But that's something to look for if your water pump gaskets are leaking. If the thermostat, which is down in there. Um, it actually mounts to the front like of the water pump housing. But that's something else to look for if you got one of these Chevys. So you can look to see if your bolts are there. You can look and see if you're leaking antifreeze at the water pump gaskets or the thermostat housing. And you can also look to see if you're going to have an issue because you're um, transmission lines are leaking so after you've watched the video and go check out your Chevy truck to see if you got all the bolts or not going over to Steve Roth's channel and check him out he's um, got a lot of good videos and a lot of other YouTube channels that you'll find from him that you might not even know existed thanks for watching Okay, on this one on the driver's side. Oh.